Hello, and welcome to this episode of 10 Minute Tones, where we take 10 minutes and we try to build a preset from scratch to usable. Uh, and 10 minutes starts now. So this week, uh, I thought we would check out my, my go-to amp, which is in the Fractal, is the Morgan AC20 model. Uh, I like to use the 12AX7 channel, uh, 12AX7 treble channel. Um, yeah, so let's get into it, and I'll just kind of show you what I what I dial in immediately, and what kind of what I'm looking for out of this preset. So, um, yeah, start up, pull up an amp and a cab. Um, cab wise, uh, I'm gonna grab the standard. Uh, what is it? There's AC20 cabs. Where did they go? <laughs> oh, I gotta search. Exactly, here we go, AC20. Okay, so combination I like, classic combination, 57 and the 121. So uh, we're not gonna mess around. Usually in these videos, I play around with the cabs a little bit. Uh, I'll kind of show you as I tweak what I'm going for and kind of explain what I'm doing, but um, I kind of know what I'm going for here. So uh, first, let's just take a listen to uh, the 121. That's gonna be the main sound. <laughs> So that sounds great. Um, what I might do with that is just, let's just make sure that, um, yeah, we got the bright switch on, drive is at five. I may not even touch this. I may not touch any of the amp controls in this video uh, because I just like that sound. The one thing we'll play with, we'll play with the drive control a little bit and we'll play with the high cut um, and we'll see what we get. Um, what I like to do just as sort of a rule, Uh, is change the low cut. Just bring it up from 20 to at least at least 40 as a minimum. Yeah, and now that I, 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 as always, I'm running ears and the amp in the room because so that I can more directly, uh, more accurately hear what's going on with the direct sound in my ears uh, that you guys will hear, hopefully. Uh, and I can already hear that I'm going to dial in some high cut. It's a little, it's a little bright. So, uh, why then would we add even this 57? Let's listen to just the 57 cab. And to me, that's got a, just a little more of a sparkle, uh, just brightness to it and like aggressive, uh, punch. So what I'm going to do is take this way, way up, take the low cut up to like 120 and take the high cut down actually to like 5,000, somewhere between five and six. Let's see what that sounds like. So hopefully you can hear that that is, uh, if I just bring it all the way up for a quick second, you'll, you'll hear that's chopping off a lot of the fizziness, uh, the unpleasantness from the 57 and leaving us with kind of that mid-range uh, push that we want. Hopefully you could hear that. So now when we blend that in with the 121, I'm gonna bring the level down just a little bit. The 121 is kind of the base of the sound. I'm using the 57 cab, chopping off a lot of the high and the low and just using it for some of that, a little bit of that mid-range flavor that the 57 gives us. Okay, so what am I looking for with this amp? I always run with the bright switch on. I just like it. We can compare to with it off. For me on the neck pickup, it makes the most difference. There's like, there's a spank from the neck position that I want and I don't get when 
the bright switches off. Okay, so high cut wise, uh, let's just play around with it. So um, I'll, I'll tweak it and we'll play some chords. So that immediately obviously is too, too woofy, at least to my ears. I hope you're hearing the same. What I'm gonna do is kind of back it off until that woofiness disappears. Wow, I can go pretty aggressive on this more than I normally would. Let's try the neck pickup. I'm gonna leave it at seven. I feel like I normally run it maybe like five or six. Um, I'm gonna leave it at seven because that sounds good to me. And I think as I turn up the drive, we might we might want a little bit more of that. Maybe I'll run this one a little more aggressive than I usually do. So normally what I look for with the input drive setting is, I use this amp a lot with all of my guitars and I mainly just change the drive control based on the guitar I'm using the output of the pickups. And what I'm looking for is when I hit the bridge pickup really hard, I get breakup, which I'm getting right now. So I don't really need to change it. Immediately, that's a little more anemic. So I bring it back up where it was five. We can compare to all the way up. Which is a cool thing, and I definitely have settings where I use a scene controller to bump that up or an expression pedal or some other thing to bump that up. Um, normally what I do is I leave it around five or six. Let's see that. And then for my drive, so we'll call this clean. And then let's say scene two. Uh, let's make sure we're on yeah, the same, same settings. I'll throw a drive in there and I'll throw the RC booster. And actually, I won't even change anything on this. So this is usually like my first uh, drive stage. So without the drive, with it. Cool, um, two minutes left. We need obviously some reverb. So let's throw this on. Um, what I like to do just for what I am usually doing is I usually like to throw on a nice big reverb. Super long and just turn the mix down. So let's go for something a little more normal, maybe like uh, a plate. It's like me, what do we do if we got a medium plate? Cool, and then what I would potentially do uh, for a second overdrive is maybe use the AC booster. You can use that or you can actually also get something out of the, where are we going? Preamp, uh, what do I want? Yeah, preamp. Where's the saturation? If I turn saturation on. Here, a little bit of extra grit. And then if I put the input boost on uh, with the AC boost. I have a video on using, using those two. I'll stick with the AC boost for now. Um, all right, we're running out of time, but that's usually what I do. I'll add a, uh, maybe a delay here. Another thing I could do uh, as well, which I'll try is uh, if I use a compressor to get maybe a clean sound. Um, so, so what can I do here? I want to have the mix 
uh, we'll run it 100% and I'll actually bring the level back a little bit so that we're, we end up hitting the amp not as hard. And ding, 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 we hit our 10 minutes. We're going over, bonus time. Uh, this compressor trick. So you notice right there, right away. So what that's doing is we've got a compressor and you can tweak the type and the threshold and all that. Um, I would probably slow the attack down a little bit to let those transients through. So let's throw the, slow the attack down. Uh, So that gives you a place for like, if you're looking for a more spanky clean, uh, you can still get that out of this amp again by just, we're adjusting the input drive, but in a different, if in a different way, we're in, instead of adjusting the input drive directly, we're taking the input signal and using the compressor level output to drop the level down to a place where we're not hitting the amp quite as hard. And so we're not getting the breakup. So the advantage of running a setup where your amp is on the edge of breakup is you can push it harder to get more overdrive out of the amp. You can push it uh, less to get less overdrive out of the amp. But when you're in that sweet spot, um, you're able to do that and you're, you're able to create different textures without, without uh, if like if the amp drive is too, too low, if you're not quite in the sweet spot, uh, then you're gonna end up getting a huge volume difference from those pushes and pulls. Or if you're over the sweet spot, you're not gonna get as much dynamic range uh, unless you're, you're really cutting back. Anyways, uh, I'm rambling on now. I don't know how long I've gone, but this is my normal setup. I love this amp. I feel like I can get really most of the tones that I want to get out of it. I, I love the feedback of, of, you know, when I'm on the bridge pickup and I really slam it hard. <laughs> amp responds really quickly, which is nice, but I can also get sparkly, sort of clean stuff out of it. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I will upload this preset to Axe Exchange as always. Let me know if uh, you've used this amp, if you like it, and uh, if you use this preset, uh, once again, I really appreciate you watching if you've made it this far. Um, and if, once again, if, if it sounds good, it is good. <laughs>